This tutorial is going to walk you through the setup and configuration using FPP with your ESP R6 Pi hat. The first thing is, is after you initially set up FPP onto an SD card, you will want to expand the disk storage. Click on to the storage settings. Once you click on the storage settings, click on to grow a file system located on the bottom left of the screen. After you click on that, you will need to click on to the reboot. After the reboot is performed, wait a few minutes. Then go back into the FPP. First step we're going to do is set up the input. Under the input slash output setting, you'll want to add one input count, click on set, give it a description, set up your input type, your start, how many universes you'll be using, and the size will be 510. In this tutorial, we're going to be using 1024 pixels. So we're going to have the input count set as 6. Next, under channel outputs, you will see multiple tabs. The tab we want to use is the Pi Pixel String. Once you're in the Pi Pixel string, click on Add Output under the RPI WS281X. There you're going to give a default of two outputs will just get displayed. Fill in those as whatever descriptions you want for the first port and the second port. And this is where you'll be setting up how many pixels you're going to be using on each output. This is important. Port 1 will flow into port 2, so if you have 1,024 pixels and you want to split it in half, you'll do 512 on 1, 512 on 2. If you only want to do 100 on port 1, you do 100 and then start at 101 on port 2. Of course, make sure to bring down your brightness. 100% is quite bright, so bring that down as well. And of course, set your color order. Once this is done, click on to the restart FPP. Now you are set up and configured so you can begin the testing. Plug in the pixels into your ESP Art Stick controller. Drop on new status control and then display setting testing. And put a check mark on enable test mode. Here you will begin seeing the lights displayed from your EXP Pixel Pi hat using FPP. From there you can go through and begin configuring up all your system settings for your controller.